हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास दिस मॉड्यूल इज एम्ड एट द कॉमन एरर्स विच वी मेक वाइल राइटिंग और स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लेट एस डिस्कस सम ऑफ द कॉमन एरर्स हार्ट एंड हार्डली दीज वर्ड्स लुक क्वाइट सिमिलर but their meanings are very different hard means when something is difficult to understand or do for example she got a hard task to do hardly means only just or almost none let us understand the difference between these these two words with the help of an example If I say he worked hard what does it mean this means that he did a lot of work and made a lot of effort but if i say he hardly worked what does this mean this means he did not work or he made very little effort so If you want to say that you have tried very hard to score highest marks in English say i tried hard to score highest marks in english don't say i hardly tried to score highest marks in english because this sentence conveys the opposite meaning of what you actually wanted to convey by and by for gradually by and by means soon or after a little while gradually means slowly or little by little look at this example we say the baby is gradually learning to walk we don't say the baby is learning to walk by and by this is incorrect the correct sentence is the baby is gradually learning to walk have a look at another example we say by and by the school year will be over we don't say gradually the school year will be over Now please speak the correct sentences after me. The baby is gradually learning to walk. By and by the school year will be over. Presently for at present. Let us understand the difference between these two words. At present and presently are not synonymous. But presently means soon. At present means now. Let us use these words in sentences to understand them better. We say his uncle is at present in london this is a correct sentence but we don't say his uncle is presently in london have a look at another example if we say he will come back at present is it correct no it is incorrect how will we say that he will come back presently means he will come back soon now please repeat the correct sentences after me his uncle is at present in london he will come back presently very and to t w o to very simply makes the adjective or adverb stronger to 
means more than enough. For example, it would be wrong if we say, here it is too hot in the summer. What should you say? Here it is very hot in the summer. Now let us use two in a sentence. If we say, it is now very hot to play football. Is this correct? No, this is incorrect. What is the correct sentence? It is now too hot to play football. Now please repeat the correct sentences after me. Here it is very hot in the summer. It is now too hot to play football. So for very. We often wrongly use so instead of very. Have a look at this example. Don't say I hear that he is not so rich. Say I hear that he is not very rich. So cannot be used in the sense of very. The expression he is not so rich implies a comparison as he is not as rich as you are. So don't say I hear that he is not so rich. It is incorrect. What should you say? Please repeat the correct sentence after me. I hear that he is not very rich. In the previous slide, we learnt about the usage of adverbs very and to. In this slide, let us understand the difference between too much and very much. Too much denotes an excessive quantity or degree. Very much is used instead of much for greater emphasis. For example, don't say he likes the cinema too much. Say he likes the cinema very much. Similarly, it would be wrong if we say I was too much astonished at the news. What should you say? I was very much astonished at the news. In this module, we learned that by using correct words at the correct places, we can avoid making errors. In the next module, we shall deal with some more common errors. Thank you.